BJ Novak, Ryan from The Office, has written, directed, and starred in a new movie called Vengeance, and it's all about Texas. So let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Sean, and I love to talk about movies and TV way too much. With that in mind, go ahead and join me down below in the comment section. Let me know, what did you think about the movie Vengeance, or are you interested in checking it out? My take isn't the right take, it's just my take, and I'd love to hear yours. And let's get started talking about the good. I went into it a little bit nervous, because the basic premise of the film is that a writer from for The New Yorker, who is from New York, who is very much into hookup culture, urban living and kind of self-absorbed and he wants to start a podcast and he kind of gets swept up into this death investigation in Texas for a girl that he hooked up with just a couple of times but her family thinks that they were dating and so they kind of invite him down and he decides to do his podcast about this investigation and why everyone is coming up with these conspiracy theories as to what actually happened to the girl. So the humor is all about... New Yorker going into Texas and the oddities of Texas. And that can either play really funny to a Texan or it can feel like an ignorant person who's never been to Texas punching down. And the movie absolutely plays in the good version of it, which is kind of this fish out of water, this guy that assumes that he knows better than everyone in Texas. And it plays into all the goofy stereotypes of Texans, but not in a way that it's punching down at all. I saw the theater with a pretty full theater and most of the people there were older than me and they were just eating this movie up from beginning to end. Almost all of the jokes landed and this was a room of Texans. I'm in central Texas and Texans, when Texas is made fun of properly, love jokes about Texas to the extent that like I watched this movie and we, we were just laughing from beginning to end. But I wonder how this movie will play outside of Texas because so much of the humor, it's just kind of soaked in an understanding of the culture here and all these little details about what a burger and the attitude towards it the Texans have, the culture surrounding it, everything about it is kind of very Texas culture centric to the extent of like, I'm curious how BJ Novak wrote this movie because I'm not aware of him being from Texas, living in Texas, or having a great knowledge of Texas, but the script here, the humor here, requires someone to really understand Texas culture and its idiosyncrasies. And so as someone who's been in Texas since November of 1988, I thought that the humor absolutely landed with all the jokes that it was going for. So as a comedy, it absolutely worked for me, and it seemed to work for the audience that I was with based off how much we were all laughing throughout the runtime of this movie. But once again, point of reference, I'm in Texas, and so there's all sorts of things here that I'm curious how this movie plays for people that don't understand Texas culture. I went on to Twitter and started to like look up some different responses, and like Scott Mance, who's got a fam famous movie pundit guy, he's LA-based, I'm not aware of him ever having ever lived in Texas or spent time in Texas, he loved the movie, he was raving about the movie, and so that seems like someone very soaked in LA culture, he watched this movie, seemed to thoroughly enjoy it, so perhaps my... Perhaps it works or it plays differently in a different way for people that aren't from Texas. But it, it's not just a movie that works as a comedy. It's also a movie that kind of has a, a good bit of thematic richness to it because it's all about this writer with his ideas that wants to do this podcast while himself not being very self-aware of his own flaws, weaknesses, and quirks, and he's good at seeing that in everyone else. And so it, it has a good bit of thematic richness of kind of exploring the differences between small town Texas or small town America versus urban centers, the different ways and value sets of each of those different groups, and why do they misunderstand each other? Why do they perceive of things so differently? And it kind of explores that through this guy going and living in this small town for a couple of weeks in the middle of kind of this death investigation, possible murder investigation, what exactly happened. And so it, it works really nicely as kind of like this journey that he's on to kind of explore a bunch of different ideas in that regard. And the other thing that's kind of interesting in it is that because he's trying to do this podcast, it also is structured in a sense like a true crime 
podcast, but as a movie, and you're watching him kind of put the podcast together, and it has this series of reveals, twists, and turns, the same way that a true crime podcast has. So it kind of these three different layers kind of going on of the big city guy goes to small town Texas comedy, and important thing on the comedy, it's not like broad comedy, it's not Sweet Home Alabama, like it is, it gets, it's pretty witty stuff about the actual culture without just doing big slapstick type stuff with it. Then you have this thematic richness about the differences in perspective and value sets, and then you have the true crime aspect to it, and so I, I just, it kind of kept me engaged from beginning to end, kept me laughing from beginning to end, and I did think it had some interesting ideas to explore all throughout its runtime. Doesn't fully land in the end, so let's move on to the bad, and... Honestly, the big problem with this film is that clearly B.J. Novak didn't know how to land the plane. He had all these great ideas, an interesting blend of comedy, themes, and true crime podcast as a movie, but he didn't know how to like pull it all together, tie it up in a way that felt satisfying as you get to the very end, which is almost ironic because of certain statements that are even made in the movie about how to end these true crime podcast stories, what's satisfying, what leaves people intrigued, and then this movie doesn't follow the rules established in the movie itself as to what makes for a good conclusion to a podcast like this. And so legitimately, I was tracking with this movie all the way up until I, quite literally the last three or so minutes of the film. And without wanting to go into spoilers and exactly how everything plays out, when you watch the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, kind of the final actions, the final resolution. It didn't feel earned. It didn't feel like it It made a lot of sense with the character. It didn't feel um, thematically satisfying, like kind of any level. It just felt like, oh, wow. OK, that's that's how we're going to end this. OK, um, well, I guess the movie's about to end. I guess the credits are about to roll. There we have it. But I, I just legitimately when I say the end, I mean the final three, four minutes of the film didn't work for me. And up to that point in time, I was tracking along with it. And it just feels a little bit, because it's trying to do the fish out of water comedy, it's trying to do this thematic richness, richness, it's trying to do the true crime. It just, it didn't all come together. He couldn't pull it off. That you, you see what he's trying to do. You're like, okay, God, okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. But he didn't have that final left hook. He didn't have that final bit to like make for just a fully satisfying movie. In which case you have like 94% of a very enjoyable film, especially as someone from Texas. And then it just doesn't quite stick the landing. Fully enjoyed the journey, the destination we've got to at the end not as, as satisfying as I would have liked. Didn't ruin it for me. Didn't undo everything up to that point in time or anything like that. Didn't leave me with like a sour taste in my mouth. It was just like, oh, hmm, that was a choice. Don't think I'd fully buy into that one. And so if you watch the trailer and you'll dig the trailer, I think you're going to like this movie. If you like like true crime podcasts, if you like fish out of water comedies, if you're from Texas and like Texas comedy, if you like BJ Novak, who's Ryan from The Office, also one of the big writers for The Office, definitely consider checking this movie out. Just know the final resolution probably won't be as satisfying as you're hoping for. Overall, I'll give this one a B plus on the entertainment scale. Let's go with a 7.5. I wish I could go higher. It's so close to being higher, but the final moments did kind of knock it back just a little bit and definitely go see this movie based off the recommendations that I just made to you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want other content, check them out right over there. I don't even know what YouTube is recommending to you and keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye-bye.